Hello YouTube, so, um, this video is going to be kind of outdated because the topic of this video has been discussed by many people and I realize I'm a little late jumping onto the bandwagon, but I feel that it's necessary for me to share my two cents about this subject and that is this whole adopt an atheist campaign that has been started by the Catholic League. Now, I'll admit, when I first heard of the Catholic League, I'm like, well, what is this, a Catholicism fan club or something? And it turns out I wasn't too far off. It was, of course, to deal with Catholics, but specifically, it was meant to help those in the clergy and other Catholics from experiencing social prejudice and stigmatism. Yeah, because Catholics are the ones that need protection in society. It's not like Catholics and Christians in general have a lot of power in North America already, right? But I digress. So this whole Adopt an Atheist campaign, when I first heard of that, I'm like, Adopt an Atheist? What, are they going to adopt a bunch of children from orphanages? I mean, many children are atheists, considering how they've never heard of God. Wow! The Catholic Church is actually doing something for once, instead of just being all talk and doing absolutely jack about it, maybe they might do something. But no, that was wishful thinking. So here's what this campaign is. This campaign is for uh, Christians to reach out to other potential Christians, because there might be hidden Christians, you know, Christians in the closet that uh, might be experiencing social stigma or problems that otherwise prevent them from expressing their own freedom of religious belief. Like, am I missing something here? Because last I checked, Christians were pretty damn prevalent, especially in North America. So I don't understand why Christians of all people would need something like this campaign to reach out to other potential Christians when those potential Christians could essentially, really, be free to practice whatever religious beliefs they want to, considering how there's absolutely no stigma attached to being a Christian. Well, I shouldn't say no, but I'll say it's a lot less than what atheists have to put up with. Let's just leave it at that. There's a stigma associated with the Catholic Church being that there have been a lot of child molestations and rapes there. But um, in regards to the whole Catholic League trying to stop misinformation about Catholicism, I'm sorry, I don't have an ounce of sympathy for their cause. Not one bit. And even if you're a Christian, even if you've disagreed with everything I've said so far, can you at least appreciate why I don't have sympathy for the Catholic Church, considering how not only are there known child molesters in the clergy? And not only did they do nothing to stop it from happening, but they tried to hide it from the public. They've tried to cover it up. And they expect me to feel sympathetic to them when people say that there are child molesters in the church? I'm not saying that all Catholics are child molesters. I'm nothing at all. I'm not saying that I necessarily even agree with these stereotypes and these stigmas associated with Catholicism. But you can't expect me to feel sympathetic towards Catholics especially, considering how they've really brought this upon themselves. But you know, I'll at least be fair, and let's see what they have to say. What their campaign entails, and I quote, we are asking everyone to contact the American Atheist Affiliate in this area and let them know you of your interest in adopting one of them. All it takes is an email. Let them know of your sincere interest in working with them to uncover their inner self. They may be resistant at first, but eventually they may come to understand that they were a Christian all along. Well, isn't that cute? And I'm going to sound awfully pessimistic here, but I'm sorry, I don't want to be preached to. I really don't, and I'm sure many atheists feel the exact same way. In the same way that many religious people don't want to be preached to about a rival religion, I don't want to be preached to about Christianity. So, essentially, uh, these guys, these people in the Catholic League, want to help put forth a good reputation for Catholicism, 
by trying to annoy the everlasting fuck out of the nearest atheist they can find. Well, that's definitely a step forward from raping children and uh, telling people that condoms don't work. So no, they couldn't start a charity event or maybe donate just a small fraction of the large fortune they have to some sort of charity. And instead, they just want to annoy the everlasting crap out of atheists. Well, how productive is the Catholic Church? But um, then again, I can't really say I'm surprised. Anyways, that's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and may the truth always be heard.